approximately 10 or 11 years ago, the board, which includes Saul Brass at the time, decided to buy a piece of property, this piece of property. The other school had issues in regards to repairs that need to be done, and during that time, the intermodal started. Then the trucks came. You could not physically get to the building. Uh, the trucks were bumper to bumper in front of our building and got to a point you couldn't get in or out of the school safely. After selecting the architect, we, uh, they were very instrumental in giving us uh, ideas of, 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 of what would we do. So we invited members of the community uh, to design the building that we thought would meet our needs. What made it even more exciting is to see our plan coming together. Very excited for the STEM lab, for all the opportunities that they didn't have in the old school. I can see it in my own children, the excitement of actually wearing a shirt that says Laraway. She wasn't too excited to wear it previously, but now she's just like so proud. And this new school, with everything that's involved with the new school, will bring, bring that pride, make the kids proud of being here, proud of being a Laraway student. It's amazing. Well, for one thing's for sure, it's bigger, and the classrooms are more spread out. It's more open, so like we can have more like communication, like more group discussions. It's like it. It's nice. Um, I'm happy we got it because before our old school was small. I used to be the girls' basketball coach. My niece played for me. So we were in Manhattan grade school. She actually said, you know, do they allow kids like us in this gym? They didn't think they were good enough to be in that building. The architect firm actually listened to us and gave us what we want. The entire community felt like they were part of the process. This is one of the shining things that comes out of those taxpayer dollars. 